Hi you guys, it's Lisa. Thanks for coming back to my channel. As promised, I've got the finishing background series. Going through my books and trying to decide which background we should work on today. This one would be kind of neat if it was the other way. So, I hope everyone's staying safe and staying healthy and get a, getting a lot of um, projects done. That one just needed a sentiment. This is one I did recently. That's a good background. This one just needs some finishing touches. And this book looks like I could put some pages together, but this one is a top runner. This one's been in my backgrounds for a long time. This book doesn't look like I have much of anything in it right now, so I don't think I'll start on it. I'll try and finish um, some of these older books. This one doesn't have much on it. This one's finished. I really like this page. I wanted to show you up close the raindrops on it. That one was really fun. This one here is a neat background that needs to be finished. Maybe this one. Look at the texture on these um, on these clouds. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And look at that little caterpillar in there. That was a fun background. That's just some wood grain. And yeah, this book is really falling apart. So here I wanted to show you um, something that I've been working on just in my spare time, putting together this little um, journal calendar book for my purse. I've got May um, calendar ready to go, but as the little dog there shows, nothing in the works for May yet. So this um, is a art journal book and I've made the backgrounds and now I'm finishing uh, the insides and I'm doing a day by day um, journal project and that is um, with Dilusions, Diane Reefley and I'll link that up above so you can watch it too. It, it's really fun and it's very enjoyable so I'm liking that. Maybe you'd want to join along with her. You can always catch up. You don't have to do it in order. But these are the two backgrounds. And I think I'm going to go with this one here. It has a lot of texture on it and a lot of cool paint colors. So I was digging stuff out of my stash and I'm using some dyes. And I made some clouds and some suns, sun and some grass and... I had an idea of using this border. I cut this out just of some packaging. So I'll make that work. And this is a little person by Delusions. And these two little pieces came out of an old calendar. And the inspirational quote says, Let's go places. I am getting really sick of being home. I love being home. I love my house. I love all my craft supplies. But I gotta get out of here. I'm going crazy. Is anyone else feeling the same way? Let me know in the comments below. But um, this series, by pa back by popular demand, is going to be for the month of May. And I'll do it on Saturdays like we did before. And um, I'm just going to see how I can put this um, together. And I've got some suitcases here that I wanted to stamp out. And like I said, I'm going with the phrase, let's go places. I cannot wait to go somewhere. Overnight, I don't know, just for a day trip, just go out to eat. I don't know, just I want to go somewhere. I'm getting ants in my pants. So back to the project. Here we go, we're gonna stamp these suitcases. As And you can see how I have, um, when I cut something out, die cut, or when I stamp something, I stamp more than one. I may not use more than one, but I'm putting all of those extras 
in my um, little stash box. That way, when I have an idea or I come across something, it will create an idea in my mind. And then you don't have to dig out the stamps, and you don't have to dig out your ink, and you don't have to cut it out because it'll all already be in your little stash box with your inspiration. So here's the background. It has a lot of color on it, and I think maybe I made this background with some of the um, they're like color bursts, but they're called infusions, and I believe by, they're by Paper Artsy. I will look them up, and if I can find them, I will link them below. So this is Stina Wakely's Make Art Station, and it works really well if you need to have a hard surface for stamping when your um, journal is... Um, uneven like mine is. I only have about six pages on the left side and I have about 25 pages on the right side so it makes it um, uneven and kind of hard to work on. And I'll show you what I mean when I stamp this sentiment. So here I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for the bottom. I need some grass so I cut out a lot of them, like I said, and I did find the right green that I wanted to put down. And I was trying to match it with the colors that were in the camper so I could get the whole piece to kind of um, go together. You can see that this uh, frame here from some packaging is a little bit big, but I'm just kind of putting down my placement so I can see how things are going to work and just getting an idea I wanted to use that girl and then that's from Dilusions I'll link that also by um, Diane Reevely here's my son and that little banner of flowers up to the left and I'm kind of liking this placement so I'm not going to use the clouds but I'll put them in my stash and they'll be there for in the future. So I got everything stuck down and I used my matte gel because a lot of these things are a little bit thicker in um, the type of paper that they are. So I stuck the piece, pieces down and I put a coat over the top also so they would be uh, non-porous. Now I'm just going around cutting the little edges of things that hung over. And I'm liking how it's looking here. So I have the frame and that's where I'm going to put my sentiment. And here's where I use that Make Art Station from Dina Wakely. Not Dina Wakely, I'm sorry. Um, Wendy Vecchi, excuse me. The um, Dilusions are by, an, by Diane Reevely. Too many different names. So I'm placing my stamps there down just to see what I'm going to do for my sentiment. And I am going to use the sentiment, let's go places. And I was going to use all the same letters, but it was way too big for the frame that I had. So I thought maybe I could find Let's Go in my sticker books here, but I could not find those words or even partial so I could cut them apart. So uh, plan C, and that would be to use smaller stamps. And I have this really, really cute set that I have had for years and years and years. It may be one of the very first sets that I've ever purchased, so that's how old it is. And it is by Doodlebug, and I'll try and link them uh, below in the description. And they're called Little Classic Rubber Stamp Minis, and they're just perfect if you need to put in that little bit of phrase. And I've probably used these, I would not, guess to say 250 times. I really like this little set. So here I'm going to stamp in the word places 
and I'm using my Jet Black Archival Ink by Ranger and I want to make sure that this is dry and that I don't smudge it with my hand because my ink pad is still pretty juicy so I'm being real careful. And using that Make Art Station behind there works really well. It gives it a real sturdy base and the magnets that come with the Make Art Station are really, really strong. Now they have a smaller one also. I uh, obviously just have the bigger one. And I want to say it's probably 10 by 10. I can measure it here. Oh, it's actually uh, a, almost 12 by 12. So it's quite big. And then they have a smaller one, which would be very nice for travel. So uh, maybe in the future, I'll pick that one up. It's always nice to have something that you really, really love. And I wouldn't mind to have that. So I haven't been doing much shopping lately, you know. Um, of course, everything has been to a standstill with this coronavirus, so I have no um, income coming in with my art or my craft shows or my workshops. So I actually um, had to um, get a uh, job and I'm cooking for a daycare center in the mornings just so I can have some income coming in so I can pay my bills. So we'll see how that goes. It's it's quite rewarding and quite fun. The kids are really um, appreciative and the parents are too. So I've been there maybe a week today and um, I got a gift card from one of the parents from Quick Trip for $25. Well, how nice is that, you know? Especially with the price of gas, you know, that's almost uh, one and a half full tanks of gas. So that'll be nice when I get to go somewhere. I'll have a little bit of extra gas money. So I'm just coloring in the areas that are blank and I'm using my pit markers and I will link them below also. They are super nice. And then I used a fine point Sharpie and outlined everything. It gives great definition and I made sure that that was dry. I actually used my heat gun and made sure it was dry and now I'm using a brown pit marker. Excuse me. And going back around the edges and creating that uh, shadow, that brown shadow and definition. It really adds a lot to the piece and I like how it finishes it off. So I go around everything. I go inside and outside of the frame, around the camper, and over the top of the grass. And I'm just smudging it with my finger. It really um, makes a difference, I think. So let me know in the comments below, do you guys have any plans coming up? Do you have anything written on your calendars? I have a haircut and color and a pedicure on the books for the end of May. I'm super excited about that. And there is a um, scrap expo coming up in June, which hasn't been canceled yet. So. Who knows, I might be able to go to that. And I have a few uh, workshops that I have scheduled yet for um, June that haven't been canceled. So fingers crossed, we'll see how things go here. But um, working that little job in the morning is um, going to help me out by paying my bills so I don't have quite so much stress right now. I even um, have a booth at the farmer's market this year. And of course they're um, putting
putting that all on hold for the non-food vendors until things get worked out. So we'll see what happens there. It's just crazy, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to keep doing this, um, finishing these backgrounds for the month of May. If that is something that you would like, let me know. Um, I'm sorry if you dislike that. I guess I will find that out by the amount of views and shares and subscribing that happens. But um, I really would like to do some of these art journal pages and I kind of missed it with some of my other stuff I was doing. So that's my plan and I'm sticking to it. And I'm hoping that we soon can go places. I really, really miss my friends and family and I'm looking forward to doling out some hugs as soon as this is over. So I hope you all stay well. And here's one little ending thing that I want to mention. I felt like the piece was kind of separate, you know, separate page, this page and that page. So I wanted to pull the page together and I thought I could do that by adding something white. And so here I'm using um, a stencil. This one is by Stampers Anonymous, I believe. And I think it is called um some kind of texture maybe canvas or something i will find out and i will link it below by adding the two or three swoops of my heavy gesso through that stencil it gives it great texture and it also pulls the piece together i think let me know what you think i'd like to hear um all of your ideas where you're going what you're doing let me know that you're okay and we'll get through this so so keep watching subscribe if you haven't share with a friend because maybe they'll subscribe my channel's growing really slow right now because everybody is online doing their videos so there's a lot of stuff to watch out there so any way you can help, that would be great. I hope to see you soon and let me know your thoughts on the background series. Take care and stay healthy and keep creating. Thank you for watching.